here how to add page into your Moodle site. To add page into your Moodle site, if you are logged in as a teacher, a course creator, or a site administrator, and when you go into your course page, um, you need to click uh, the Actions menu and click Turn Editing On and choose where section or what section would you like to add a page and then for example I'll put here I'll put it here in under the intro introduction and then I'll click add an activity or resource and from this window I'll scroll down to go to the resources and select page so the page may be used to present the terms and conditions of a course or a summary of the course syllabus to embed several videos or sound files together with some explanatory text. So you may just click add and then the page will be directed to the uh, settings of the page. So you need to supply the name of the page for example, this page is all about introduction to differential equations. And then um, you may provide here your instructions to your students. For example, your instructions is please read um, this page. And for the content, um, you, you'll be able to add um, a text or a video or even image in the page content. So for example, this is your content. Um, usually this is where you put the, um, the lessons um, that your students will take or will let them you know, read something from your lesson. Um, you are also allowed to insert image. So to insert image, um, you can just click from these um, toolbars. So here is the image icon. So you can just click insert or edit image. You can also insert um, or edit audio or video, video file. You can also record your audio. So, for example, if you want to record your voice, you can just click this one. Or if you want to have a recording of, your, of what you are saying um, so that students can see you while the, you are explaining something, so you can just um, record, click the record video here. And um, from this um, uh, rich text editor, so it's a very powerful rich text editor, um, you can also you can also um, use the alignments here the left align center align and the right align you can also do the out the indent and the outdent um, there is a equation editor here if your course is um, a mathematics just like this one my course is differential equations so you can just um, use the text, uh, using the text of Moodle. So you will be able to use the um, symbols, mathematical equations, or scientific notations here in Moodle. So you can explore the text. So if you click this one, um, well, you will be directed to the using text notation in Moodle Docs so where it um, allows you or gives you a lot of ideas on how you will add um, the symbols for example the superscripts, subscripts, roots, fractions, brackets, ellipses and other symbols so going back to the course page um, aside from the text notation or the equation editor, um, you can also insert character. So the character, if you click the character, you can choose any characters here. You are also allowed to 
um, add table. So if you click table, so you'll just um, put the caption, the caption position, whether top or bottom, um, define headers, and number of rows, the number of columns, and then you just click create table. You can also um, make a redo, make an undo and um, redo, and also there is accessibility checker. So for the accessibility checker, um, so it says no accessibility problems found. And then this one is the screen reader helper. So for the screen reader helper, um, so um, it states here the styles for current location, the links in text editor. So there are no links. And then um, if you want to arrange something and if you know how to use the HTML, then you can just click the HTML and you can see the HTML tags here. So you, just, you can arrange your course page into HTML. So, so after that, um, you can actually explore the other settings of the page. If you want to display the page name, so the default is check. Um, if you want to display the page description, it will be displayed in the course page. So the display description is this one. So this will be uh, displayed in the course page. And um, other settings uh, for the availability. So there are settings um, show on course page, hide from students, make available but not shown on course page. So sometimes it is uh, also a good technique if you want to um, make the page available but it will, it's not shown on the course page so that the, your course, course page will, um, not, will not be look like something that is cluttered. So you can sometimes use this but, but make sure that you provide a link uh, where your students can access this particular page. Then uh, there's the restrict access. So we'll not use this for now. And the uh, activity completion. So for the activity completion, if it is um, necessary for you to see the report that your student has already taken um, or taken action on the on a particular activity, then you may um, set the condition here uh, for the completion tracking. So if, for example, you, sh you click this show activity as complete when conditions are met, um, then it requires the student to view it, then it should be checked. But um, when it comes to, it really depends on the purpose or the preference of the teacher. Um, if it is just something that the students can read and uh, um, the teacher really doesn't, um, it's not really that important to her if the student really viewed or not. Uh, most of the things that are being set a conditional statement is in the part of the assessment. So if the assessment has already been viewed or has already been, um, the student has received a grade, then they can um, probably um, set a completion tracking here. So it really depends. Next is um, the tags and the competencies. So there are no more other settings for now. Just click save and return to course. So now um, you will be able to see the page. So this is the icon of the page and then um, you can click it and so that you can view the page that um, you have um, created. So that's all. Thank you very much.